araw na naman sa ating lahat and isang bagong video ulit na naman ang ating mag-uusapan. At ito ay tungkol sa angle of elevation and depression and also solving real life problems involving angle of elevation and depression. Ano na yung dapat natin malaman sa ating topic ngayon? And dalawa lang naman yan, we have angle of elevation and angle of depression. So first is kailangan natin malaman yung ating mga definition of terms and First is we have the line of sight. It's an imaginary line that connects the eye of an observer to the object being observed. So what is the definition? Nya. Next, angle of elevation. It's the angle from the horizontal line to the line of sight of the observer to the object above. So our main keyword here is above. And tandaan natin yung ating horizontal line. The angle of depression. Is the angle from the horizontal to the line of sight of the observer to the object below. The keyword that we have is below, and I will repeat the horizontal line of our basihan. So we have a given picture here. So the two. The first one is the child is looking at the ground that is on the top. And the second picture is the child is looking at the ground that is on the top and on the bottom. So, dalawang magkaibang picture. So, itong unang picture natin is it is all about angle of elevation. Kasi yung bata is tinitignan niya yung object dun sa taas. Yung pangalawang picture natin is tungkol siya sa angle of depression. Kasi yung bata tinitignan niya yung pusa dun sa baba. So, meron tayong given figure dito and itong dalawang bilog na to is sila yung ating observer. And meron tayong dalawang horizontal line ito yung ating horizontal line and yung line of sight is siya yung imaginary line between the eye of the observer and the object being observed so yun yung ating line of sight and syempre meron tayong horizontal line inuulit ko yung horizontal line is siya yung magiging basihan natin kung paano ba natin malaman kung sino ba yung above or sino yung below para malaman natin sino yung angle of elevation and angle of depression ang kutitignan natin is we have angle of depression and angle of elevation So, ito yung ating observer, yun yung object na titignan niya. So, ito yung ating horizontal line. Yung angle between the horizontal line and the line of sight, yun yung above. Above is the angle of elevation. And this time, ito yung ating observer, titignan niya yung object dun sa baba. Ito yung ating horizontal line, ito yung line of sight. So, yung ating angle of depression is the angle between the horizontal line below dun sa ating line of sight. So, gano'n natin maiintindihan kung ano ba yung angle of depression ng angle of elevation. Inuulit ko, horizontal line, tapos below is siya yung angle of depression. Horizontal line, above, siya yung ating angle of elevation. And take note, angle of elevation and angle of depression are equal. Bakit? Because they are alternate angles. Tandaan natin, ang angle of depression at ang angle of elevation are equal. So, topic natin today is gagamitin natin yung ating trigonometric ratios and yung ating mnemonic na ginagamit or the ratio using so ka to wa. Sin, cosine, tangent. Inuulit ko, gagamitin natin yung dalawa na to para masolve yung unknown kung angle man yan or kung side man yan ng ating given problem. Example number one. A tower is 15.24 meter high. At a certain distance away from the tower, an observer determines that the angle of elevation to the top of it is 41 degrees. How far is the observer from the base of the tower? So, ito yung ating given the problem. And syempre, unang-unang gagawin natin is ito drawing natin yung sinasabi ng ating problem. So, nandito yung ating illustration dun sa ating given na problem. Meron tayong tower. And then, yung ating observer, yung bilog na maliit. We have the horizontal line and the line of sight. So, yung ating tower is 15.24 yung kanyang height. So, sa ating given na figure is, dito natin ilalagay yung ating 41 degrees. Bakit? Kasi, ito yung ating observer, horizontal line, above, between sa ating line of sight. So, ito yung ating angle of elevation. Inulit ko, Horizontal line, tapos above, pagitan ng ating line of sight. So, yun yung ating angle of elevation. And yung ating unknown is yung distance from the observer to the base of the tower. So, ito yan. 
So, yung aking solution is, ano ba yung gagamitin natin? So, ka, toa. Anong ratio ba yung ating gagamitin? Depende dun sa ating given na problem or dun sa ating illustration. So, titignan natin kung ano yung sides na meron tayo. And ang magiging basya natin dito is yung ating 41 degrees or yung angle natin which is the angle of elevation. So, ang ating opposite is 15.24. So, opposite side ng ating 41 degree is 15.24. And, yung ating adjacent, yung unknown, which is yung ating x, yung distance from the observer to the base of the tower. So, opposite and adjacent. So, sa ating sokatowa, ang may opposite lang and adjacent is towa. So, we will use tangent or towa, yung ratio ng ating tangent. Tangent theta is equal to opposite over adjacent. Yan yung ratio ng ating tangent, yung ating towa. So, tangent 41 degrees is given. 15.24 yung ating opposite and yung adjacent natin is x. So, we will cross multiply. Si x mapupunta kay tangent 41 degree. So, anong nangyari? x tangent 41 degree is equal to 15.24. And may kasama pa si x which is tangent 41 degrees. So, i-divide natin both sides by tangent 41 degrees. So, anong nangyari? is makakansel na si tangent 41 degrees and i-divide natin sa kabila ng tangent 41 degrees si 15.24 Next is x is equal to 15.24 divided by tangent 41 degrees So using your scientific calculator 15.24 divided by tangent 41 degrees is 17.53 meters So yung distance natin from the observer to the base of the tower is 17.53 meters. Example number 2. A man flies a kite within 100 foot string. The angle of elevation of the string is 52 degrees. How high of the ground is the kite? So, ito yung ating given or yung ating illustration. So, we have a kite. Ito yung ating observer. Line of sight. Horizontal line. And ito yung height natin. So, from the observer to the height, ito yung line of sight, or yung string natin is 100. 52 degrees, tignan natin. Horizontal line, line of sight. So, horizontal line, above. Yung pagkita ng line of sight, and the horizontal line, above is 52 degrees. Siya yung ating angle of elevation. So, X is our unknown. Ito yung tinatanong. How high of the ground is the height? So, our solution, Ano ba yung gagamitin natin na ratio or mnemonic? So, ka, towa. So, titignan natin yung ating parts dun sa ating given na figure. So, we have, ito yung basis natin, yung ating 52 degrees. So, yung opposite side natin is x. And then, yung ating hypotenuse or the longest side is yung ating 100. So, opposite, hypotenuse. Alin ba sa tatlo yung ating gagamitin? So, we have opposite, and hypotenuse. So, yung may opposite and hypotenuse lang is sine or so. So, we we'll use the ratio of sine or yung ating so. Sine theta is equal to opposite over hypotenuse. So, ito yung ratio ng ating sine or yung so. So, our opposite is x, hypotenuse is 100, and yung ating angle is 52 degrees. Next is we will cross multiply. See, si 100, magpupunta kay sine 52 degrees. 100 sine 52 degrees is equal to x. So, si x is nag-iisa na lang siya. So, pwede natin i-compute to. So, using your scientific calculator, 100 times sine 52 degrees is 78.80. So, yung ating height is 78.80 feet. So, ito yung ating final answer. Example number 3. An airplane is flying at a height of 4 kilometers above the ground. The distance along the ground from the airplane to the airport is 6 kilometers. What is the angle of depression from the airplane to the airport? Same process, syempre, i-drawing natin yung ating given a problem. So, meron tayong airplane and airport. So, yung ating observer is yung ating airplane. And syempre, yung ating horizontal line and yung line of sight between yung observer dun sa ating object na in -observe. Niya. So, yung ating height from the airplane dun sa ground is 4. And then, yung distance naman ng ating airport to the ground na nasa baba ng ating airplane is 6 
And ang ating tinatanong is yung angle of depression. Bakit ito yung angle na hinahanap natin? Kasi horizontal line to sa observer below. Ito yung ating line of sight. So ito yung unknown natin. So pwede ba natin hanapin itong angle na to? Pwede natin hanapin yung ating angle of elevation. Ito yung ating angle of elevation. Kung ito yung ating observer and tinitignan niya yung ating airplane, ito yung horizontal line above. So angle of elevation to. And angle of depression and angle of elevation are equal. So pwede natin gawin basihan yung ating angle of elevation. So this is our solution. Ano ba yung gagamitin natin? So, katoa. So tingnan natin yung sides na meron tayo. Yung ulit po, ito na yung ating gagamitin basihan kasi equal naman ang ating angle of depression and angle of elevation. So, 4 yung ating opposite kasi ito yung ating basihan. Opposite side is 4. And then yung ating adjacent is yung 6. So, alin ba yung gagamitin natin? Ano yung merong opposite and merong adjacent? So, we will use tangent or the ratio of tangent using TOA. Tangent theta is equal to opposite over adjacent. So, ito yung ating ratio, yung TOA. So, tangent theta, bakit theta pa rin yung nandito natin? Kasi, ang hinahanap natin is the angle of depression or ang ating angle of elevation. So, tangent theta is equal to 4 over 6. Next is, using your scientific calculator, ito yung gagawin nyo, follow the steps. 4 divided by 6 equals, then, shift tangent equals. Bakit pa natin ginamit si shift tangent? Kasi, angle yung hinahanap natin. Whenever we find the angle, kailangan natin hanapin yung inverse nung trigonometric ratio na ginamit natin. And yung ginamit natin dito is tangent. Pwede sine yan, pwede cosine. But this time kasi tangent yung ginamit natin. So we will use shift tangent. Yung ulit ko, 4 divided by 6 equals, then shift tangent equals. And yung makukuha nyo is, our theta or the unknown is 33.69 degrees. Therefore, our angle of depression is 33.69 degrees. Last but not the least, example number 4. From a plane, Flying due is at 265 meters above sea level. The angles of depression of two ships sailing due is measure 35 degrees and 25 degrees. How far apart are the ships? Same step, we will draw yung ating given a problem. So ito yung ating illustration. We have the observer due east and we have two ships due east then. So observer, horizontal line, we have two line of sight. Yung unang ship and yung pangalawang ship. We have the height which is 265 above sea level to sa ating observer. Yung ating unang-unang angle of depression is 35 degrees. So, horizontal line below line of sight, 35 degrees. Yung ating pangalawang angle of depression is 25 degrees. Horizontal line below line of sight to sa pangalawang ship is 25 degrees. Degrees. So, kung mapapansin natin is meron tayong dalawang triangles na nabuo. Yung sa unang shape and then yung sa pangalawang shape. So, we have unknown x and then yung pangalawang shape is y. And para malaman natin yung distance ng dalawa sa isa't isa is we will subtract yung dalawang unknown natin na x and y. First, let's solve yung ating 25 degrees na angle of depression and then Yung ating angle of elevation kung yung ating ship, yung ating server is also 25 degrees kasi angle of depression and angle of elevation are equal. So, ang magiging basis natin is 25 degrees. So, alin nga ba yung gagamit natin dito? So, ka, towa. So, using our given which is 25 degrees, tingnan natin yung sides na meron tayo. Opposite is 265 and then our adjacent is y or yung ating unknown. We will use Tangent kasi ang opposite and adjacent lang is TOA. So we we'll use the ratio of tangent. Tangent theta is equal to opposite over adjacent TOA. So tangent 25 degrees given is equal to the opposite which is 265 divided by the adjacent which is Y, yung ating unknown. We will cross multiply si Y mapupunta kay tangent 25 degrees. So Y tangent 25 degrees is equal to 265. So, para ma-cancel si tangent 25 degrees is we will divide both sides by tangent 25 degrees. Y tangent 25 degrees over tangent 25 degrees is equal to 265 over tangent 
25 degrees. So makakancel na yung ating tangent 25 degrees dito sa kabilang side. Using your scientific calculator, 265 divided by tangent 25 degrees is 568.29 meters. So ang ating distance or yung ating y is 568.29 meters. Next is yung shift na merong 35 degrees na angle of depression. So same, 35 degrees din yung ating angle of elevation. So using 35 degrees, alin ba yung gagawin natin? So ka or towa. So tignan natin yung sides na meron tayo. Our opposite side is 265 and the adjacent is x, yung ating unknown. So yung may opposite and adjacent is towa lang. So we will use tangent or towa, yung ratio ng tangent na gagamitin natin para hanapin yung ating unknown. Tangent theta is equal to opposite over adjacent. So towa, tangent 35 degrees given is equal to the opposite which is 265 over the adjacent which is x. We will cross multiply si x magpunta kay tangent 35 degrees. x tangent 35 degrees is equal to 265. So meron pa tayong tangent 35 degrees dito sa ating unknown which is yung x. So we will divide both sides by tangent 35 degrees. x tangent 35 degrees over tangent 35 degrees is equal to 265 over tangent 35 degrees. So makakancel na yung ating tangent 35 degrees dun sa side ng ating unknown. Using your scientific calculator, 265 divided by tangent 35 degrees is 378.46 meters. So yung distance ng ating ship or yung unknown is 378.46 meters. So kung mapapansin nyo is mas mataas yung value ng ating pangalawang ship kasi mas malayo siya kaysa sa ating unang ship. So to find the distance between the two ships, Yung distance natin is equal to y minus x. So yung ating y is 568.29 and then yung ating x is 378.46. So subtract natin ang ating makukuha is the distance of the two ships is 189.83 meters. So ito yung ating final answer. Isang video lesson na naman yung ating natapos and sana is nakatulong ito sa inyo. Maraming maraming salamat and God bless us all.